Hey people, so a guy named Nerdpunk Fu uh, suggested that I make the railing machine um, conveyor compatible uh, slash survival compatible and I've gone ahead and done just that I built this here thing uh, I went with large grid because one, I wanted a version in large grid and two, using the large conveyors on a small grid is quite annoying so uh, yeah, let's start it up and I'll do an explanation of how it works. I didn't really do that on the last one. Um, yeah, so I'm using four of the eight time blocks. I just added eight because I didn't know how many I could use. And uh, the first one uh, activates the smirch block, pulls it in. Then the second one detaches this smirch block and moves the piston out and up. Third one moves it all in again. Fourth one activates Volders and locks the connector down here, so we get feed to the Volders, and it all just continues on and on and on. Um, the Volders are connected to a reactor down to and into the connector here, which is then connected down through the line. So the whole idea is that you just need to add a car container at the start of the track and you're golden. Uh, one thing I had to do a bit differently, I had to add this here piston, uh, which is extended 2.25 meters, because the large piston, uh, also the small one, is actually, I think it's 10% longer than two blocks because of the, the head on top. With small grids, it's flexible enough that it doesn't matter. What with large grid, it just won't engage. So um, I take this 10% of a block of the length of this um, piston and that makes up for it and makes it a line. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Um, he also suggested uh, adding drills, making it able to go through mountains and stuff. And I've not come up with a uh, method for that that I like. I mean, uh, the, the only thing I got working was adding well, I got it working like somewhat acceptably. Was uh, adding literally a block of uh, drills out front, the same size as the the, the footprint uh, from this direction of the entire craft. And well, that works, I guess. It's uh, a bit brute force, uh, and I also have to slow down the piston extension here. Right now, it's going two meters per second. That's used too fast for the drills. I actually think uh, for open I could uh, speed it up a bit, but the, the thing annoying me about the block of drills is that it's great when going through a mountain because you're going at your max speed, but when you're through that mountain you are still going at the max speed while drilling, so you're going this a lot slower than uh, you'd otherwise be able to. So I need to find some kind of flexible solution where it could probably slow down somewhat when it gets to uh, rock uh, which is hard because I mean even the sensors the sensors are useless on planets for detecting rock uh, I tried it out um, don't have anything flying basically it'll detect um, at arbitrary altitude so for example at this altitude we are whoop, uh, like right here up here it would detect the ground when going over mountain tops and stuff, it would uh, vary between perhaps 50 meters, 100 meters over the, the, the tops and somewhere to be right at the ground uh, when detecting. So it's useless on planets. Um, so yeah, they need to uh, detect the uh, planet instead of detect asteroid, I guess. But yeah, um, I think I've been rambling on for long enough. I will... Uh, uh, the, the safe where these haven't been activated yet, I will put in the, the description below. And for both crafts, it is just a matter of going into the cockpit, pressing 1 to activate, and you're good to go. Same over here. Um, yeah, this one has engines to move it about, but just be sure that both uh, merge blocks aren't connected out here, otherwise it will be uh, subject to phantom forces breaking the thing. Um, and also there's not really a stop button at the moment, but yeah. Anywho, thank you for watching and uh, see ya!